Hey, what's up, guys? Foxy coming to you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you guys, uh, I was gonna say, if you guys did, if you, I, blah, 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 blah. I think I was gonna say, if you guys are watching today's video instead of like, if you guys, like, if you guys did enjoy this video. But I mean, like, if, I guess if you guys do enjoy this video, you guys can drop a like, subscribe, whatever. We have some season four mid we or mid season four contents coming out this week. We're gonna talk about that a little bit, and uh, yeah, I haven't put out a video in a couple days. Uh, sorry about that. I'm starting to work on stuff for uh, other people too. So I have a couple projects. I'll let you guys know if you guys follow me on Twitter or like Instagram or whatever. Whenever those videos come out for them, I'll definitely tweet those out. All that good jazz, you know. I'm just going to work on some camos for the LC10. And we're going to talk about, you know, the home run derby. We're going to talk about the fine NBA finals. Because like I said, the Bucks won game three. Like like I said, didn't I say that? I said that, right? Yeah, I did say that. Talk about the new content that's coming in, in uh, season four. So without further ado. Let's go, bros. Okay. All right, so my headset works again. If you guys watched, I think it was the Plague Diamond video, I didn't have a headset on, like, the entire time. And if you guys remember, like, way back in the day, like, in World War II, I used to play a COD pretty much, like, with no headset. Or I used to play COD with, like, one head, like, earpiece on because the other one was broke. <laughs> so super super uh bad like super terrible way in playing uh playing video games but so pretty much oh oh yeah we got just kids jumping around with july 15th we are getting uh brand new contents for uh season four which is gonna be sick it's gonna be freaking sick and um we are going to get a new smg which kind of looks like the scorpion from um uh, call of duty 4. i know the scorpion was in it or like it was like a pistol or like a machine pistol in Modern warfare 3 but it looks more like the SMG from Call of Duty 4. That, that's just what I'm gathering from all this. But yeah, that'll be super fun. Wow. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. Well. <laughs> sweaty mix sweat sweat. Yeah, so like that'll be... Come back here. There you are. Oh, yeah, you're dead, sir. We're supposed to get a bunch of new zombies content, too. Apparently, there's a new map and a bunch of other stuff like rewards and things like that. Warzone is getting a sentry gun. And that'll be super fun, I guess, uh, if you want to consider Warzone fun at the moment. Call of Duty is just at this state where, uh, to be honest, I feel like they should come out with a game every other year. Um, but they're not going to do that, obviously. I don't know, man. Like, Call of Duty is just one of those things that, I mean, like, obviously, like, I make content on it and things like that. Obviously, you guys do enjoy the videos and all that stuff. I also, I want to say I do appreciate the support on the videos recently, the, the camo videos on the other CODs. I would like to see if I can either make or find other camos, like Exclusion Zone like uh what, what's another one like dark matter or you know dm ultra or something like that like that would be super cool i hate when that happens bro like literally i hate when i see one guy and then i can't kill him and then all of a sudden i just get, get killed by the other guy like that that sucks it blows yeah so th this this contest should be fun there's a bunch of, there's gonna be like a bunch of new blueprints for i think uh league play i think i can't remember what they said it was for i'm pretty sure it's for league play and then i'm pretty sure that we're gonna be able to get um I can't even remember honestly like all i care about is the new weapon we'll unlock dark matter on it like always i can't see but yeah so i don't know what we're gonna do wait was that guy oh oh my god <laughs> oh my god I, I, all the smoke and all that stuff bro i couldn't couldn't really see i'm pretty sure i'm like halfway through or not halfway through but i'm about i'm pretty sure i have almost all the regular weapons or like the the automatic weapons or just like weapons in general that aren't melee weapons uh, i'm pretty sure i have them all dark matter except for the lc10 maybe a couple ars i can't remember maybe i don't think i have the pharah done honestly i cannot remember i know i have the c58 done i'm pretty sure honestly i can't remember that to be honest but we have i think i have the lc10 all the melee weapons obviously and then i think the pharah and the c58 maybe and then that's about it to be honest for dark matter so and then obviously the new weapon that's coming out the ost9 which we'll, like I said before, we'll, we'll get Brian some dark matter for it. Hopefully the challenge isn't like crazy to unlock it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that comes out on July 15th or like all this stuff comes out on July 15th at like midnight Eastern time, I think. I don't know what it is, man. I just, I just been kind of bored. I mean, like, honestly, I've been, it's like a little bit of boredom, but at the same time, um, I just, oh, that's the guy. Oh my God. At the same time, I just don't, I don't, like I said, I don't know really what to play. I've been playing the older cards and things like that, but you know, and I obviously like, I enjoy, all, are you kidding me? Look at that kid just jumping out, bro. Oh, my. Oh, my God. I don't know, man. Like, I just haven't. I don't know. I just haven't really. Oh, there, all these guys are right here. Yep. Yep. Okay. I wonder if there's a way that I could put custom camos on IW4X for, like, Modern Warfare 2. Because if I could put, like, diamond camo on my ACR in Modern Warfare 2, that'd be freaking sick. You know, after making the Plague Diamond video, I didn't really notice how many people disliked 
plague diamond i don't really have a problem with it to be honest it's a really cool camo i wish that it would change colors to be honest but other than that it's really not that bad it's really not that horrible it's it's, it's actually really really cool it's really nice it's a really nice camo no get away from me so like i said before and like i said in the last video didn't i tell you guys that uh that uh the the, the suns were gonna drop game three it just wasn't gonna happen they they, they weren't gonna beat the bucks at home for the first game if they went up 3-0 i was gonna be like oh dude this series is over i mean to be honest i thought that i still think the series is good is over i still think that the uh that the bucks are gonna lose the series i can see the suns coming out swinging in the next game and winning and then probably winning game five as well i think it'll be suns in six but i also think that i mean it could completely turn around and we could turn it, it could turn into a seven game series i just don't see that happening to be honest there's two guys right here there's one two and there's another guy no i just think that since chris paul is there in the finals now there's really no sh wait what did, did wait did you guys just see that my map just glitched right i didn't just see that right apparently there's this theory going around that the head ref from the last game doesn't like chris paul because apparently chris paul was 0 and 11 when this guy was the head ref and i guess it kind of showed because <laughs> they lost so he's 0 and 12 now which is very very odd like i said a million times i still think the suns are going to win the series uh it'll probably end up being or two the thing about it is bro i just don't see the bucks beating the suns in phoenix that's just my i mean that's my opinion they're just white hot and they, they can't be stopped bro i mean yeah they'll lose like one or two games maybe in a series but have the suns gone this game seven at all i don't think that the suns have gone to game seven at all in this playoff series in the playoffs this year i think chris paul will get his first ring and that'll be super cool i'm not like a big fan of the flopping but i can respect chris paul in his game uh, because he's been playing for so long and i remember when chris paul was on the cover of 2k do you guys remember that i remember specifically because i remember going to eric's house and uh i was like yo like i brought 2k and chris paul was on the cover because he was playing for the um new orleans hornets and i just remember eric being like ah oh, nah, i don't really play the 2k games maybe it was 2k9 no it wasn't 2k9 no there's there's no shot i mean it, this is gonna bug me now someone let me know in the comments what, what cover of 2k was chris paul on because it's gonna bother me now <laughs> but uh to be honest I can't, um... Hi, Kevin. Um, I, 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 I might be wrong. My memory kind of sucks. So, yeah, do with that what you will. <laughs> so, I watched the Home Run Derby last night. And, uh, the favorites to win last night were Otani and Alonzo. I'll say, I'll tell you, bro. This dude, Alonzo, put on a show last night in the first round. He had, like, 35 or 37 home runs in the first round or something like that. It was crazy. This man made it look so easy, bro. And Otani is a pitcher as well. I'm pretty sure Otani is the first. I mean, he might be. I can't, honestly, I don't know baseball like this. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please. So I'm pretty sure that Otani is the first pitcher or the first starting pitcher since Babe Ruth to compete in the home run derby and then also pitch in the all-star game. So like I said, it's one, of, it's one of those weird stats, bro, that I just, you don't even think about. And you, it's just like one of those like off thing stats, like, the, the things that don't come out that, that much, you know? And then my, my man, Trey Mancini, got to the finals, bro. I was lit for that. So, like, Trey Mancini is, uh, he's an Oriole. And obviously, like, I like the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, it's, we are a sad franchise, but uh, that's the hometown team. So, you know, gotta rep him, gotta rep him. He was in the home run derby, Trey Mancini. If you don't watch baseball, pretty much like Trey Mancini had cancer. The dude beat cancer and then literally came back the next year and started playing baseball and competed in the home run derby. And the fact that he got a standing ovation is awesome. Uh, that's really nice because, um, you know, it, it just shows. It, it's it's always nice to see those kinds of stories, to be honest. He's like a stand-up dude as well. He's such a good guy. I hope the Orioles build a franchise around him. Uh, they probably won't because the Orioles uh, don't like to do shit like that. Like, whenever we have some type of potential, we like to trade them off, you know? It's just fucking annoying. Can't stand it! Mancini got to the finals, and I'm pretty sure he had, like, 23 home runs or something like that. Or, had, like, 22 home runs. Alonzo just just completely just oh my god it was crazy like a lot alonzo was going just insane but otani was one of the favorites along with alonzo because alonzo won last year so i'm pretty sure a lot of people were expecting otani because he's the home run leader in the league right now which is pretty crazy considering that he's a pitcher i guess they were expecting otani and alonzo to be the final two but it came down to mancini and alonzo and alonzo won the home run derby last year so he was looking to repeat um I just, I really like the Lonzo's energy. Just like how he gets super hyped for it. You know, it, you just don't see that a lot. Or at least like for the home run derby, like you see guys being like super humble, but like you just don't see guys that are just going like crazy, trying to get the crowd involved and things like that. Like that, that's cool, man. Like that's super cool. And it's refreshing to see, to be honest. So Juan Soto knocked out Otani in the first round. And that would, that was a crazy, uh, that was a crazy round too, because it was the first round. They went into like overtime and then they were tied after overtime and then they had to go into another round and all this other stuff. And then 
uh, you get like three hits each and Juan Soto hit all three out of the park and then Otani missed the first one. So it was cool. That, like, it was a dope home run, home run derby. I haven't watched the home run derby in the past couple of years. I, I can't remember the last one I watched, to be honest. And uh, it was a really entertaining home run derby and all that stuff. So that, that's going to do it. That's what's coming out for season four. It's what I've been up to and like watching and things like that. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys later.